This is Drom Shakasuto. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and like this video. For us, it's a very big opportunity. Every time that a group of people with a good will, with pure intentions, are gathering themselves to one place to sit and to learn together and to develop, to build vessels, to try to learn how to contain the bounty, how to come to new understandings, to new spiritual developments. It's a big, big moment in heaven and it's a very important occasion. Every person that take a part in this kind of an event that is coming to learn, that he's willing to develop, to hear, to grow, to learn. So he's, he's affecting the wide world in a positive way. For an example, in one of the first days, in the earliest days of my tshuva, when I just started coming closer to the Creator, before even really thinking about it in a deep way, just I start thinking and investigating and, and talking with friends about the existence of the Creator, but the religion, the Judaism, were not something that were familiar to me. So. In those days, I remember that I had a conversation with a person that was elder than me in a few years. And in one of the days, he asked me, Do you think that one day you're going to do tshuva and you're going to become religious? So I answered to him, Maybe. I don't know. And he told me, By your answer, I can see that you're a person of truth. Because I can see on you that you're gone. <laughs> it was clear, but I was not aware to that yet. I was in my baby steps, I was only in the beginning. But I was able to say that it might take a place in my life, it, it might happen to me because I was open to development. So he was recognizing that in me and he said it's a sign that you're a person of truth because you're not disqualifying, you're not cancelling, you're not arguing because for a secular person, the person that doesn't know about religion, it's very easy to disqualify, to say, nah, religion, it's, a, it's, a, it's nonsense, it's not for me. It's very easy to say, no, I need to do this, and I'm in a rush, I'm running, you know, I have my things, I have my hobbies, it's very easy. But when you're opening yourself to listen, it shows that the point of truth, that the light of your soul is shining, and illuminating your being, your existence. Now, when a person is opening himself like that, and he's ready to listen and to learn, so he becomes wise. A wise person is a person that is ready to learn from any other person. Not only from a genius, not only from a teacher, from a tutor. He's opening his heart to listen and to learn from everyone, from every culture, from every person with life experience. And by that he's expanding his knowledge and he's building vessels. Now when you build those vessels, when you're learning, you become to be a role model to those ones that are surrounding you and accepting you and loving you. For an example, I can have a huge knowledge about a certain thing because I invested years of my life learning on that thing. Now if I will come and go and knock on the door of let's say one of your neighbors and I'm gonna I will want to teach him and I, he will open the door, he's going to look at me from head to toe. Don't, don't, whoa, what? Say, what are you doing here? Came to check my mezuzah, like, what are you doing here? And I'm going to start explaining to him, basically the first thing that, we, that will happen between us is a certain feeling of rejection. <coughs> because we never met before, we have different look. He's got his own assumptions and, for, for, and, 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 and thoughts and he will be judgmental in a way on seeing a person with long beard, with side curls, peot, with kippah, like, who are you? What are you doing? What's, what's the deal? What's the scam? Who knows? And he will not gonna buy my speech even if I'm coming with a very honest attitude. It's, uh, we're going to have to melt a lot of ice before we will be able to, 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 to move forward with the conversation. 
But if you're gonna knock at his door, even if you're not as knowledgeable as I, even if you haven't learned so much as I, if you will knock at his door, immediately the door is open. And only because you're his neighbor, only because he meets you on daily basis in the grocery store, in the, in the coffee beans, in the, in the university, in the library, only because of that, you bought your trust. You bought his trust and you're friends now. So when you're getting wiser, immediately you're affecting your environment. You're affecting the, play, the hearts of the people that are attached to you, that are connected to you. So many times we're thinking to ourselves, what can I do to benefit others? What can I do to improve for others? That other people will grow, that other people will be exposed to the truth, to the Bible, to the Torah, to the real knowledge, to whatever. You need to work on yourself basically. When you're going to work on yourself and your soul will shine, that light immediately going to move and flow into the hearts of those ones that you're in touch with, that your relationship with them are built on trust and on, on honor and on respect. So many times changes that are taking place in our own lives are affecting other people even without us knowing it and feeling it. Certain things, certain thoughts that cross your mind, certain developments that you're going through in your own life, in your private life, after a phone call, after a conversation with a friend, after an amazing article that you read online, something that happened to you in your private life, and now when you're going to speak to another person, he will receive from you. He immediately, automatically going to be impacted by your wisdom and by your knowledge and by your understanding. And this is something very deep that we must understand. A lot of us wants to make a change in the world. We see that the world is sick, we see that the world is tired, we see that the world is wounded and bleeding and, and crying and, and, and freezing and, and blind and ignoring and, and, and so many things that are happening around us are so so hard for us to, to accept and we want to change those things and we're not close enough to make those changes. Me for an example, I'm traveling the world, I'm flying and I'm driving from the East Coast to the West Coast and from Israel to the US and in Europe we've been and we're moving in the world so much but still, look, <laughs> what is the ability of one person He's coming and he's entering to another synagogue, to another coffee shop, to another house, and he meets another 20 people, another 40 people. And you know what? The big, big thing that happens today that we have this amazing outlet of the, the, the Facebook and YouTube and all the social media. So we meet another 1,000 people and another 3,000. And you know what? In the end, it's going to be 50,000 people. It's tiny numbers compared to the, the, the souls that are still thirsty and, and, and hoping for salvation and really needed for that knowledge. So what's the solution? The solution is that we're going to understand how strong and powerful we are even only in the spiritual aspect of our lives. Because physically I can go and meet another 20 people, another 50 people, another 100 people in a big event, great, wonderful. In the end of the day, those numbers are tiny. But if I'm standing and I'm praying to the Creator, or if I really changed myself and my aura been changed, my spiritual level developed, now Thousands of people that are just going to cross in, in front of me in the street during the day that are working with me, even if we never spoke in our lives, they're going to enjoy my spiritual development. They're going to enjoy the spiritual bounty that is surrounding me because of my inner effort, inner work on just trying to be a little bit more sensitive, a little bit more honest, a little bit more kind, more generous. Those small things are going to change my smile. They're going to change my, my, my way of looking at people. Judging them favorably maybe even going to change the way that they're being judged in heaven. We don't know how many things will change, how many doors will be opened by opening my own doors, my own locks, unlocking myself from inside. 
That is the power of self-awareness, that you're working on yourself, trying to listen to your own thoughts, to connect yourself to your real being, to be who that you really are, to just be honest and truthful about yourself, and then going with that understanding of who that you are and affecting and spreading positivity in the world. Those things can make a huge change in the world. There are many stories on people that change lives of other people without even meeting them. I'm coming once in a while to classes and I have students that are coming to me with tearing eyes and they're telling me, for me, you're my best friend and you don't know me, you never met me, but I'm walking with you for years. Every day I'm watching your classes. When you left that yeshiva, I left that yeshiva with you. When you opened your own center, I opened the center with you. And here now you came to my town and I'm... I, He's walking with me on a daily basis. I told him that is the evident that Windows is a scam. Because Windows should show from two sides. If you have a window only from one side, so the computer Windows is a scam. You can't see from both sides, it's not a window. They're tricking us. Windows, one day hopefully in the future we're gonna have that amazing, amazing um, tools that one person will meet thousands of people in one time and, and will have the ability to see their faces. Emotionally, I know that it's happening because many times in my lectures, in my classes, when I'm teaching, so after the class, at least 5, 10, 20 people are coming to me and telling me, I felt like you were talking especially to me. Your words were talking directly to my life situations and how can it be? It's not a divine spirit. It's not a spirit from heaven. It's the will of the Creator Himself to give you the knowledge that you need. I don't know what you need. When I'm coming, trust me on that. People that are listening to my classes, they know it. I don't have a clue what I'm going to talk about in the class that I'm about to speak. When I'm standing, usually that's when Hashem is giving me the first thoughts of, on what I'm going to speak. Now, when I was walking here, I asked Ilya, do you have a certain idea, something that you think that is important, that I'm going to start and open my speech with that thing? Because I am opening myself to become a channel for the wisdom of the Creator that belongs to you. I'm not coming to share from my life experience. I'm willing to share. I'm ready to talk about myself. I don't mind. But the truth is that I know that the Creator is using me to reveal His light through me to you because He cares about you. He also cares about me. But that's another thing. That's my lesson. That's what I am learning and receiving from classes, from my travels. But for you, the Creator cares about you and that's why He's putting in my mouth words that will fit to you and to you. And it might be for thousands of people in the same time. I cannot do those things. Trust me, I'm not able. My wife, she can scream to the walls for hours. How can it be? We're married for 18 years and you still don't know me. You still don't understand me. And she's right. I'm dumb. I know it. I'm blocked. I'm sealed. I know. But when Hashem wants, He can open the mouth of the donkey to speak to Bilam if needed. So the Creator can open my mouth and the thousands of people are going to hear exactly what they need to hear in the same moment. And it's not because of me. It's because of that great will of the Creator that He can use nature corresponding to His will. And to use nature to, to do His will. I'm going to say one speech and that speech is going to fit to 5,000 people, to 2,000 people. A person came to me a few years ago in Uman in Ukraine and he told me the speech that you gave about light drugs changed my life completely. I told him I was talking about light drugs. He said, yes, I heard your speech four years ago. So now if we're calculating, we're talking about seven or eight years ago. And he heard that class only three months before of our meeting, a class that I recorded four years before. And that class came to him in the right day, in the right moment to answer the question that he needed in the precise second that he heard that class and it's changed his life. 
And he told me, now for three months, I'm clean and I'm relaxed and I'm not using it anymore because I feel that I don't need it. I have a lot of, of, of knowledge because of my experience with people that use drugs or, or and, and there are many qualities in that. It can become like a medicine and for other people it can be a poison and every person should, should check about himself if he need that medicine or if for him it's a lethal poison that can destroy his life. So in that class I opened that issue, that topic and explained a little bit about the wisdom that behind what the, the creator, how the creator is using that kind of grass, that kind of drug for a purpose, for a reason. But you need to work on yourself to build yourself to check if you are really supposed to use that as a medicine, as a potion, or maybe for you it can be lethal and can destroy you and, and can damage you. So you can see that the person that is just randomly seeking for for, for a certain video, a certain knowledge in YouTube, going to find a certain access to my classes and his life going to change. And again, like I'm saying, it's not because I'm unique. It's not because I'm special. Trust me, I'm, I, 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 I know that those things. The Creator is using me because of His kindness and not because of my power. I'm a regular person that is seeking for the truth. And I am very dedicated, I'm very stubborn, I'm willing to learn. And I invested a lot of my years, years of my life to that search, for that learning, to, to be a person of truth, to learn from their rebuke, to accept in, 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 in a way of love the rebuke and the message that I'm receiving from the one that is teaching me. And I am a person of truth, but the will of the Creator is the main part in that situation. That He is observing and looking and checking and searching all of the souls. And He's taking care of every single one. And thousands of people can sit in the same place in the same time and to receive a wisdom that will fit to their life in a perfect way. That's above nature. That is something that is waking us up to realize how great and divine the Creator really is. He is not like us. We are limited in bodies. So because of that we're constricted. Because of that we're not able to see beyond the curtains and the walls. There was one righteous man, once he cried. And he, one of his students asked him, why are you crying? So he said, I can't understand it, I can't understand. So the student asked him, what? What is that question you can't understand? He said, how can it be that I received my eyes from the Creator, that His eyes are searching and, and, and looking on the wide world. The eyes of the Creator that are wandering in, around the world and they're seeing and, and, and inspecting every point in the universe. And how can it be that I defected my eyes so badly that I cannot see through that wall? The Creator, He can see through walls. But us, with our physical eyes, we cannot see. Sometimes you can look for your glasses and they're on your forehead and you're losing your mind. Where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? And you can't find your glasses without glasses. It's a big problem. So, the thing is that the Creator Himself is not limited. And like that example that I gave, that I can give a speech and thousands of people are going to receive the right lesson, what it was so needed for them in the same time, and it wasn't me. It's not my fault. I wasn't aiming to that at all, except of in my will. I wanted you to hear what you need to hear. I hope that people will receive what they need to receive through me. But I was not like thinking deep thoughts and planting those words. I'm, I'm not that wise, it's not in my power, but the Creator, that He is thinking thoughts that no one will left behind, that's what it's written on Him, that He's thinking all day long thoughts and, and, and thinking and, 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 and planning and creating a path for every person that no one will be left behind. So He is the one that is above nature and He can use even a speech of a regular person to influence on thousands of people the exact amount that is needed and required for them to achieve completion in a level that is needed for them for that moment. The exact amount. 
and he is the one that is observing and supervising on the world in a perfect way that every bite from every apple why take you a few minutes to check and to find the right fruits and vegetables because you're going to choose those ones that contain the unique sparks spiritual sparks and also all the part physical particles the chemicals the vitamins the the, the fibers whatever the, the sugar everything that is inside those certain fruits that will be the, 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 the precise ones that will heal you, that are perfect for your body. Why one morning you wake up and you have a desire for, for oatmeal, for, for white bread, for cereal, for milk, for coffee, for tea. No, today I'm going to drink an orange juice or Starbucks. Or, no, no coffee beans <laughs> and he gonna walk for 20 minutes for coffee beans. Why? Why? Because the Creator, he's waking up your senses that you will collect your sparks, that you will find what that is waiting for you. So if you have that crazy desire for donuts, don't be hard on yourself because there might be a spark in that donut that is needed for you. And you know how many times you met a certain person in that line and a coincidence and wow, I was just thinking about you and you don't know how the Creator is pulling you like that fantasy movie of, of Disney that the Mickey Mouse is being pulled by his nose by the smell of that delicious pie. You remember that or that I'm too old for you. So Mickey Mouse is walking like that after the smell of that pie and it leads him to places that only the Creator, he knows exactly what Mickey Mouse, every one of our Mickey Mouses need to go through in his lifetime. And he's pulling you with your nose and pulling you with your eyes and with your ears. Oh, someone is telling you, I heard that there is an amazing movie, an amazing option, an opportunity. You must check that book. You must go online you must search you and the Creator is bringing all of those things in a silver plate to your table into your life and like that today the information and the wisdom is so accessible through the internet also to spread our springs of knowledge become to be something so easy through the internet I can give a small speech and it's gonna go viral and thousands of people gonna receive it and I don't have the time to meet those thousands of people until today I spoke like year more years in in Torah in, in speeches that I gave online I spoke more hours than the hours that I lived until today like m m millions of, on, of minutes I spoke and I'm, I'm now I'm talking I'm like Five hundreds of me are talking right now on different topics. It's impossible. It's really impossible. It cannot be. I'm talking in cellular phones. I'm talking in televisions. I'm talking in computer, in laptops, in MacBooks. I'm talking in weird ways. People are downloading me into their mobile. How can it be? Only the Creator is doing unique things, revealing His superpowers that He's above nature. So now, when you realize that He is above nature and you are connected to Him, so learn from that that you're also, in a way, above nature. That you can also cross that bur um, um, Limit, limitation, barrier, barrier of, of physicality. When you working on your spiritual aspect, on your spiritual channel from inside, connecting yourself to your spiritual source, to the Creator Himself, you become one with Him in a way that you can start channeling His wisdom down to this world. In the aspect of prayers that are being answered and decrees that are taking place in our life, Yesterday, something amazing happened. My wife and I, and with the children, we were in uh, San Diego. We were in San Diego, there is a nice uh, port in, uh, in front of the beach. Amazing place, there are lion seals over there. In, a, a very nice, beautiful place, many birds. And, and the view, the Pacific Ocean is, is amazing. It's, it's, it, it's, it's fantastic. And we're standing over there and we're seeing the animals and, and, and enjoying the view and whatever and the kids are playing and enjoying and my wife and I we spoke and I told her 
do you want to see a whale? And she said, yes. I told her, listen, I'm going to bring you a whale here right now. And she said, I want to see one. And I, I have faith. I, I'm not lying. The Creator is with me. I'm not lying to you. I'm finishing my words and I'm looking to the sea and I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm telling you, I'm going to bring a whale because like, okay, we saw the lion seal. We saw everything. We saw everything. Okay, like, we can go now. I told her, you want to see a whale? She said, yes. I told her, I'm going to bring a whale. Three came. Three whales came. You can't believe, you can't understand. I told her, listen, Ima, <laughs> my wife, it's impossible. Look. And she's turning and the kids are searching and looking and everyone can see it. And it's in front of our eyes. And again, it's not me. The Creator, He wants to use your mouth, so He's going to use your mouth. And when He will want to show you that your mouth is powerful, He's going to show you that your mouth is powerful. But He is the one that makes all those wonders. He is the one that is making those miracles. The verse is saying, That He is the one that makes all the wonders. But you can have the merit that those wonders will go through you. If you're going to work on your heart to believe, to have trust in heaven, to believe in the Creator, to open your mouth, the illuminating world, words will shine out from your mouth. Your prayers will be answered. But you need to dare, you need to believe, you need to believe in yourself. Not that you're a genius, not that you are a righteous person, no. That you are close to the source of good, to the Creator, to the King of all kings. And if He is able to make wonders and to cause miracles in His world, when He wants them to take place, you can ask for it. You're allowed to beg, you're allowed to request, you're allowed to ask, you're allowed to pray. You're allowed to wish, you're allowed to hope. And while hoping, you're opening that access to that amazing spiritual bounty to come down to this world and to flow like a river and to enter into the thinnest cracks and to go down even to the lowest and darkest places in the universe. It's in our power. The power of the Creator is not given only to the righteous ones, only to those huge, gigantic people. No. If you're alive, it means that the Spirit of the Creator is alive inside of you. As long as the candle is shining, is, is lit, lit, still the flame is on, you can use that power, that flame, to make wonders in the world. Now, which wonders we should, everyone going to pray that there will be no hunger in Africa? No, people that couldn't care less about that. Everyone should care about the dolphins? No. Everyone should care about Israel and Jerusalem? No. You need to express your heart and you need to express yours and he will express his and she will express her and everyone will express himself and together we're going to achieve completion. It's, it's needed that someone will take care of the dolphins. It's also needed that someone is going to take care of the penguins. But the same person cannot do both. So one going to care about that, and one going to care about that, one going to care about the weather, one going to care about the Torah, and going to go and teach the Bible, one going to teach Halakha, one going to teach Gemara, one going to teach Mishnah, one going to teach the verses. Everyone going to go with the point of his heart, and that's the mission that we've been sent for to this world. To be who that we are. You don't need to change. You don't need to be me. You cannot be me. I cannot be you in the same time. No matter how strong I am, I cannot be you. Like we said before, because when I'm going to knock on the door of your neighbor, he's not going to open the door. He's going to look from that hole and he's going to say, Oh, no, 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 no way. And that's it. And he's back to sleep. He's not going to open the door. But to you, he's going to open the door. The door is open. He's going to say, open. You can just like, welcome. And that's it. And you're in. And you can score. And you can score and I cannot. Because you have an access. Because God sent you to your mission. Because you have your job and your responsibility. And you have your power. And you have your qualities and I don't have those. 
I have mine. And every one of us got something so unique and so special. And you know why is it special? Because it belongs to the Creator. That's the part of soul that He gave you from His complete soul. Every single one of us, we are Chelek Eloka Mimal, part of heaven from above. We have a godly soul. A godly soul means part of God. You have it inside of you, that's your soul. That is your spirit. That's who that you really are inside. So you need to learn how to access that. How to connect yourself to your true self. To find your true self. First steps, stop criticizing yourself. Stop judging yourself. Stop blaming yourself and hating yourself and closing yourself and blocking yourself and sealing yourself and ignoring yourself. First of all, you let yourself be. Express your emotions, express your thoughts, write it down, illustrate, sing, run, keep your hobbies, do your thing, go and work in places that you feel comfortable, watch the things that you desire, try to be who that you are, talk to the people that you feel comfortable talking to, relate yourself to communities that can fit for you, it can be good for you, you will feel supported and loved and honorable and welcome and in those places plant yourself build your house grow your children those are the ways that the creator is creating for us there is a person that got so many sparks in boston one person in philadelphia one in new york one in tahiti what can you do that's his mission so it's better to be in jerusalem who said so if Schindler was not in, in, in Europe in 1939, he wouldn't save th three, more than 3,000 Jews. And he was a non-Jew, and he was a businessman, and he had all of his confusions and lust and desires, and his bad attributes, but he was the right person in the right place, with the right power to do the right thing, and he did. And not because that he was a Jewish from a Hasidic family that grew up in Mashari. No, 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 no. No! Not at all! He was just exactly who that he was. But he was honest with himself. So the Creator brought down huge bounty to the world through him. A bounty that still wakes up people's life today while hearing his story. Why? Because he was truthful. To who that he was. He went all the way with who that he was. On trying to reveal your good qualities. To be who that you are, it doesn't mean to give place to your anger, to give place to your fears, to give place to your frustrations. No, that's not to be who that you really are. That is the opposite from letting yourself be who that you are. When you're investigating who that you are, you're finding that inside of yourself there is a sensitive soul, a loving creation, a caring person, that's who that you are. That you care about your family, that you care about your, 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 your community, your people, your friends, your company. That you love your nation, that you love people, that you love animals, that, that you love smells, that you love flowers, that, that you care. That you're a breathing creation, that you're a live person. That's who that you are. Now the fears are blocking you not to show who that you are. Your angers are coming when someone is annoying you and you're afraid. So now instead of running away from him, you choose to attack. Your sadness is the opposite of your real uh, honest quality of, of, of who that you really are emotionally and mentally and spiritually. All of the bad attributes are the, are the curtains that are blocking the light of our soul. And all of our good attributes, all of our good characters are the light, are the rainbow, all the shades of the light of our soul, of our endless soul of the Creator. So while working on ourselves to express our good, who that we really are, who that we hope to be, who that we feel like really be, that is the way that we are revealing the light of the Creator in our environment. When you're expressing yourself, you're, un, 
locking the light of the Creator. You let the Creator have access to His world, to the creation. When you feel like singing, when you feel like writing a poem, a song, if you're not going to do that, if you're not going to write your novel, your book, if you're not going to make your movie, you're going to hide that light that is shining and being revealed inside of you from the world. But the Creator is bringing that will into your heart. The Creator is waking you up to think and to hope and to desire. And if you're going to be scared or afraid or confused, then you're not going to execute it. You're not going to open your heart and going to speak. You're not going to share. You're not going to write. You're going to take that secret, that diamond, that spark to grave. You're not going to reveal the light of the Creator that was treasured inside of you to your environment, to your beloved ones. You're not going to share it, so they will never going to have it. And it's going to be missed from the world. And the world won't be able to enjoy it. Only when you will open your mouth and going to be who that you are, and express yourself, and talk about your feelings, and share about your thoughts, and be open to learn, and also to change your mind, and to do tshuva, and to come back to Hashem, and to admit in your mistakes, and to be honest, then you will reveal the light of the Creator, and the creation will shine from His light. And it's in your power, exactly like that it's in mine. I'm working on my thing that calls today the Amuna project for maybe, I, don't, I think that it's from the beginning of my tshuva, but at least for the last 10 years we're investing and putting so much effort and thinking into this project. And today the wings are, 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 are taking actions. It's, it's, we, we're flying, we're making some, some distance. I'm, I'm, I'm finding myself in, in grocery stores, in supermarkets, and, and people are recognizing me and coming, hey, Ravdor, I watch you online. And like, so you can see the effect of those classes, and especially when you can see the analytics of, of, of hundreds of thousands of hours of Torah that, that's been taught already through us. So you see results to your effort, but when you're starting your effort, when you are just planting, you're planting with tears, you're harvesting with joy, but you're planting with tears. So even if you say to yourself, okay, I want to do something, I want to start, the beginning is hard. The beginning is not easy. When you plant the seed into the ground, you can only hope that something good is going to come out of that. You don't have no guarantee for that flower to bloom. You don't have no promise. You can only hope and water it and protect it as much as you can and come every day and checking and praying for salvation that's the only thing you can do also in your life also with the book of your life also with the children book that you feel like illustrating also with those songs that you want to compose also with those amazing videos that you feel like clips that you want to do those vlogs that you whatever comes in your mind that profession that you want to learn no matter what you hope, if that's your real dream, you are obligated to walk all the way and not to back off from living your dream, from fulfilling your de desires, your holy desires, from bringing down to this world the light that is treasured in your body, that is coming down to your body through your soul that been sent to you from the merciful Father, the Creator, our Father in Heaven, that He knows that it's in your power to achieve your goals, that your prayers can be answered. He knows that and He believes in you and that's why He gives you power and that's why He gives you life and that's why He gives you money and, and wisdom and, and, and lengthening your life and giving you connections and more people, supportive environments. And even if you have certain difficulties and, 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 and sometimes the hours are hard and difficult, in those hours you are digging those diamonds out. All of the diamonds, you can find them only in the gold mine, in the, in the diamond mines, in the caves. The pearls, you can find them only in the depths of the wall of the sea. You don't walk in the streets and find diamonds. You don't swim 
close to the shore and, and you find pearls. You need to learn how to dive to the depths. For seven minutes you need to dive, to go deep into, the, into to miles and, and to find those pearls. You need to break your fingers to find a piece of gold. That's the way. Only when you plant with tears you can harvest with joy. Kefumtsara Agra, corresponding to your effort. That's how much reward you're gonna, you're gonna bring out. That's how much you're gonna bring out. So you need to believe that in those hours that you're investing, that you're seeding, that you're plowing, that you're watering, that you're checking, that you're observing, in those hours you're promising the flowers to bloom. All of the vegetables and the fruits, all the fruits of your creation to come out to the world. It's in your power. But only if you're not giving up on your own dreams. Only if you're going all the way with your holy desires to be who that you meant to be, who that you feel that you've been sent to be in this world. I bless you all that from heaven, they're going to answer to all of your prayers and all of your requests and that you're going to find your true selves and that you're going to believe in yourselves. To recognize yourself and to know who you are, it's easy. Even though that it sounds like kind of complex, okay, who am I, so what does it mean, so... You know who you are, you know what you like, you know which kind of food you prefer, you know which movies you rather to watch, you know which songs you like, you know who are the friends that you feel comfortable with, you know a lot of things about yourself. To know yourself, it's not the hard part. The hard part is to believe that who that you found that is you is important. That's the hard part. To believe in yourself that you're important, that you're also great, that's the hard part. But while you're understanding that there is a Creator and that He created you in your shape, in your figure, and He is so great, then you can understand the greatness of His creation and from that to learn that you are also very great. That you're amazing, that you're talented, that you're gifted, that inside of you there are sparks and qualities that people wish to have. So I bless you all that from heaven they're going to give you an access and a way to reach into your treasures, to find the diamonds and the sparks of your own souls and to find the courage and the wisdom to know how to spread them, how to plant them and that they're going to grow and make fruits in the world. Amen. Thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your requests should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.